all of you welcome back to yet another video and finally meta have released their one more framework called stylex which you can use to build and design your front end app so in this video i'll take you through this that why they have launched it what are the problems they have found in the traditional way of developing the application so they have found a lot of problem in all of those methods in the old one and that's why they have found that this is the way of future web development of studying building application and scaling that application because that's the biggest problem we have to face as a developer Right now you have launched your project and if you want to scale it, if you want to build something on top of that in the future after two years or three years. So there is a lot of problems we have to face as a developer and that's the same problems. So that's what they have mentioned in this entire that why they have launched it, what are the features is going to provide. And I'm going to take you through this entire documentation. And if you guys want me to make a detailed video where I can show you that how you can utilize this particular tool in your app and use that in your project and style the components, so do let me know in the comment section. So I'll make a complete tutorial on that. So here they have explained that what style X is. Here they have highlighted the feature that what are the features is going to provide you. So first thing is scalability. Under the scalability, they have highlighted a few things that what are the things you're going to achieve. So you're going to have the like minimize CSS output. You will have the CSS size, even number of component grow. So like you can minimize the size of the CSS file, even the component growth. So those are the things they have mentioned. Style remains readable to maintainable with the growing code base. So this is the problem, exactly the problem they have faced. That's why they are highlighting in the very first. Like if the component structures grows, the code will not going to grow because you're going to use as a reusable model the way we use in the other files. And the same thing we can tackle when it's come to building a, using the SAS because there we have the same kind of feature the way they provide, but it has a difference in the structure, which we're going to talk about it. Then we have predictable. Inside the predictable, we have these three parts they have a highlighted that the class name only direct style the same element. So you can simply provide and you can assign that. No specific issue. The last style apply always when so whatever the styling you will apply, for example, that you have three type of style classes. And if you have follow a particular order, maybe the first order, A has a different styling, B has a different styling, and C has a different styling. So whatever styling classes you're going to put at the last, that's going to bend and that's going to be applied. So that's what they have mentioned here. So it doesn't matter that how many classes you have stacked upon that. So this is the, this is actually powerful because when you are working on a simple component uh, where you have to make the changes based on the interaction or means based on the certain portion of the application, so what do you have to do? You have to target specifically. But in your case, what you can do, you can simply apply the apply the classes structure and that going to fix the issue and automatically the styling will apply. So this one is really good. I really like this one, the last one. Then we have the collapsible in that they have this three mode, then they have the fast, then they have the type safe, and they have the using the syntax of how you can apply that. So this is, they have given the simple examples for doing the configuration in the project. Again, I'm not going into technicality that how you can do that. If you guys want, I'll make a video. I'll show you how you can do that, how you can do the setup, how you can do all the configuration and you can utilize in the project. Then we have a couple of default styling. So these are the things which we have. You can simply import the stylex and you can simply provide this root. So we have already a couple of default styling on that, but you can simply apply that. What are the things you want to have as a width, as a max width, as a, as a minimum height. So that's what you can simply configure here. And this is how you have to define it. Make sure to use the exact keyword the way they have used here in the documentation. You can create multiple classes, multiple variables like that. And that's what they have mentioned here, JavaScript syntax structure. So if I show you that, they have defined a couple of variables. So this one is the color style and this one is the style. So you can keep it as a global, you can keep it as a separate class. That's what you can define. But this is going to create a problem if you don't manage this particular classes, this particular variable properly, because sometimes what happened that we are building a scalable application. So you're going to define this kind of variable, like going to have multiple variable. You can simply access this variable straight away, but what if you have to have a hundred or thousand? That's going to create a lot of clutter on the page. So you have to design from the very beginning in a proper structure that what structure you're going to apply and you have to keep all the things in your mind when it's come to scaling the application. So this is the way which you can define multiple variables and you can simply assign to the component. And this is how you can simply pass as a props. So this is a pretty straightforward the way we simply deconstruct the data and we can simply assign to the variable. So this is tons of things. So I want you to come and have a look, check all this variable type which you can define. So these are the variables type we have, how you can define the variables, how you can configure that, how you can reset all of things, create the theme, how you can do that. So there is a popular way. So we can simply set the default theme, light theme, that's all you can configure. Here we have the static type, how you can deal with the static type. So this is pretty simple. I want you to come and have a look, check that how you can install that, how you can include in your project, this is all you have to do, simply copy, simply copy and simply install in your project. And these are the configuration you have to do in the config file. And then you are ready to go with that. You can use any framework like roll up, 
web pack or next year's so that's the only thing for my end if you guys really want me to have a detailed video then definitely let me know in the comment section i'll try to make it so you guys can understand that how you can do it and how you can build any kind of component or any kind of application using this particular technology let's see how it's going to perform in the future because when the react came in 2013 it changed the entire structure the way we do web development now if you go back <laughs> like 2010 or 2009 then we have to write huge amount of html css code but right now due to this framework we have more component but we have to write less code due to this react nexus this multiple framework so do let me know if you guys want me to make a detailed video on this definitely i try to create one so you guys can follow that so that's the only thing from my end and if you guys haven't checked the course which i have on the channel make sure to check that that will teach you a lot of things so this is the complete course which i have launched on blockchain developer roadmap in which you want to build the project you want to learn about the programming language you want to learn about all the important tools the technology which you have to know that will teach you every single thing which you have to know as a web3 developer so check this out so that's the only thing from my end. If you guys have any question in doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to help you with that. Have a wonderful day. Bye.